Yo, what is going on everyone? It is Memory here. We everyone, ladies and gentlemen, for the 23rd episode of Kaji. And we're going to hop right into this episode, everyone, and see what we got. We're starting at the very beginning, zero seconds, and we're going to get started here in three, two, one, play. So, Kaji just made it out of E-Card with 20.1 million yen, but he's not done yet. He's not done because he's found out who the true, you know, real enemy is here in, in Hyoto, uh, the chairman. So it looks like he's going to be putting some of that money on, on the line to, you know, avenge, obviously, like the, you know, Sahara, Ishida, all the people that have came before him. And, you know, hey, he's been through a lot of these events, you know, with a ton of these people. So, you know, obviously, we still know there are survivors of the, the human derby and all that, but just for all of them. He, you know, he wants to do this for and take down the the real true enemy here in Hyodo, which we saw from him how, <laughs> like, with the with the kneeling, the the heated kneeling or whatever the hell exactly it was called, like it was what Todogawa had to do was just fucked. <laughs> and this is what he was saying. Yep, he's the real enemy, and he has some kind of plan with the tissue box. So we'll see. We'll see what's going on with that. Got the treatment on his on his ear. They kept his ear like preserved and you know and, and I can I even say good shape, but I I asked in the previous episode like is it even possible can he like actually get his ear reattached or <laughs> or what? I mean that would be sweet. I'd like to see that happen, but still crazy he did that. Yeah, this is what we saw at the end of the previous episode. Then as they're walking out, he steps on the tissue box and an idea, bam, sparked right into his head. So at that moment, bam. With this tissue box, I'm gonna defeat the chairman. <laughs> Obviously, it's gonna be some kind of a gamble, but unconventional. We're gonna see what he, what plan or what he has in mind with the tissue box exactly in taking on the chairman. And they're probably like, "What the hell is? This? It's just a tissue box." <laughs> That would be me. I'd be like, um, hello? Just a tissue box? The opening on the side of the... T usually tissue boxes don't open from the side like that. <laughs> they usually only have the opening at the top. And that's what they did when they, you know, needed the tissues, when they ran out of, like, towels and all that for his ear. They, you know, just instinctively, like, opened it like that because <laughs> they were such in a, in a hurry. This might be a way to outsmart the chairman. Slip like a little piece of paper in there, yep. Okay. Doesn't come out or, or come loose. And he can still get it. So it, it can't fall out, it can't let you become loose. You can't see it either. So 
and then and he can still like grab it. It will appear inside, okay. Right, right. Yeah, very, <laughs> very handy. Like, what a coincidence, you know, right? Like, if he wouldn't have noticed this, he would have just kept going and walked out of here with his money. might have been for the better because I just have a feeling he's gonna end up he's gonna walk out of here with not the 20 you know 20 mil he might walk out of here with nothing or just a lot less than what he could have walked out of here with no Towel, handkerchief, paper towel. I was gonna say like the tissues, but jackpot. <laughs> Who would have thought? Paper towels in a <laughs> in a tissue box. They're probably like so lost right now. They're probably like, what the heck is this man thinking? They're like, what is he doing? <laughs> it's just some paper towels in the toilet, uh, in a tissue box. Like, pen, paper towels, and a tissue box. Not just any tissue box at that. <laughs> Seems really confident, really like he's really serious about this. A lottery, a lottery. Okay, pieces of the paper towels for the lots. And the box will be the empty tissue box. Oh, I see. Okay. And knowing that there's that kind of like kink to the to the box, he's gonna be able to use that to his advantage to kind of rig it. Right, that's how the lottery is. But he'll draw it on the first try with he with with him knowing how the box. That just totally obscure thing he found out with the box <laughs> like by chance like place the yep You know, he's very confident, very, like, sure about this. But I just feel like it sounds like, okay, it sounds like a great idea. It sounds like, you know, okay, all going according to plan, but. Oh, I would not give a shit about cheating at this point, especially with kind of man Kyoto is and what he's done. Like, damn. Like I was saying, though, I just feel like, okay, all going according to plan, 
it sounds great, but I just feel like it's not going to go as smoothly as he's explaining it. He's not wrong. He's not wrong. Especially Kyoto. He loves it. <laughs> he lo he lives for this kind of shit. Oh, don't show me them again. Blood money. Ooh, but what are like the chances of that? Like, is he just gonna take that chance or that risk? Like, yeah, exactly. It's it's a crazy like risk. I mean, he's not wrong, and he's right about that. There's a risk in whatever you do. <laughs> like, both sides have good points. We gotta remember though; these are the guys telling him just to get out of here and take the money. And he's not doing that. I did, that's why I just feel like something. He's gonna lose a lot of it, or maybe all of it, and this isn't gonna go according to plan. Take the remaining lots and flush them down the toilet. Yeah, right. Ooh, that is true. That is true. If there's two of them, obviously, yeah, that would be terrible. He'll bullshit his way through it. Or, I mean, after he wins, he wins. A win's a win. So if he was to you know, draw it and then they check, actually, like... I, I mean, what would he, what would he, he'd be like, I already won. You were the one who was fooled. Like, I don't know. <laughs> but to just bullshit his way through it, I don't know about this, man. And they've, you know, they've brought up some good questions, some good kind of kinks that this has to, you know, the plan. Uh, but he's still going to go through with it anyway. That's another, it's just one thing after another. Okay. Yeah, with the barcode and all that. So that helps, like the bottom of the boxes.
Man, we're really going in the tissue boxes. <laughs> eh. Goes ahead and sets him up anyway. Uh, me? I gotta stay on? <laughs> Well, I know his name. I, I mean, Kaji doesn't know his name, or Kaji, yeah, Kaji doesn't know his name, but I know his name because I've, you know, like saw his character before. So I don't know if, like, sorry if I was if I wasn't supposed to know his name, but I, yeah. But for the most part, I've just called him the chairman anyway. So. Out of his total debt. Was that was that six million? Six million seven hundred thousand, something like that. It's not even the full, the full amount. Let's see, uh, yeah. I mean, with the way he, I mean, still, that's a lot of money, though. But like, or a decent amount of money. But you know, even after taking everything into account, you know, out of his the total amount, he's not really getting the full twenty million. You know, with his debt and with the expenses of his ear and just everything. But but still, I mean, he's still gonna go ahead and and do it. End of his winning luck. <laughs> yeah, you know, Kaji's usually a man of his word, unlike you, so... Really, I see. It. I, I I don't think he would, especially after everything he's been through. To get to get it, I don't think he would. But he's just he's getting it. He's getting in his head a little bit. He has, he doesn't really have like anything to lose. I I mean, really, unless Kaji just you know threw up some crazy like wager or like something said he had to bet on something like, like his life or something like you know like.
he has a different mindset than anyone Kaji's ever, you know, came across before or went against in a gamble. He is way different than anyone else. Oh, I cannot, well, I don't want to say I can't wait, but I, I'm really looking forward to what his freaking wager is going to be or like what he wants Kaji to do for the, if he loses. Facts. Big facts. You're doing this. You're doing this shit. <laughs> He's gonna accept. He's gonna accept. There's no way he won't. Damn. So that's coming. That's coming. Honestly, like... Uh... I just I I don't know I kind of feel like that's the the chairman has him like a little uh, uh, kind of right where he wants him you know and, and Kaji's like I mean at first it sounded like he was like yo this this is a great plan that he would actually be able to you know, get this done but then there was like kind of kinks to the plan there were some things that came up you know questions being asked to him like about certain different situations and how possibly this plan you know isn't maybe as perfect as you think it is and Kaji's like yo. Anyway, he's gonna go through it, and if you know, he'll bullshit his way through it if he has to. Like that makes me kind of nervous. Like that, that makes me like feel like, especially going up the chair uh, against the chairman, who's who's gonna be like any. He's not gonna be like anyone else that Kiyokaji's went up against, and that's apparent uh, to to this point. I just, uh, I just, I just feel like he's either gonna end up losing everything. He's gonna lose some more limbs or something. I, I don't know. He might lose all the money he just made. Or a good chunk of it, and, and that—that's just like my biggest worry right now. Cause you know, a lot of it sounds like too good to be true. Uh, you know, like they—they they started putting this plan already into action and everything. But I just—I have a bad feeling about this. I really do, especially because it's—it's it's the chairman. So, yeah, we'll see though. We'll see though. Really, really, uh, man, if this is coming up, Hyoto and Kaji, that's gonna be like. <laughs> nothing else we've saw before. Like, that's going to eclipse what we had with E-Card. That's going to eclipse the Human Derby. That's going to uh, surpass the restricted rock, paper, scissors. Like, that's not going to touch this and any of the future gambles, I feel like, that that are to come you know, in the future. Because I just feel like with a series like this, and it, that's how it's kind of been. It just keeps getting, like, the the, the gambles keep getting crazier and, and more insane, and especially what's on the line with them. So, you know... We'll see, though. We'll see, though. Let me know what you all thought of this episode, though. I thought it was another great one. Great setup you know, going forward for what's definitely going to happen, I feel like, with, with Kaji and, and, and the Chairman Hyoto. So, yeah, that about does it. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. Peace.